Welcome to Diggins Garden Tech. I'm Farmer Tyler at Grow Big Supply with Sean Lucas, the Director of Education. Today we're looking at different medias for growing indoors and outdoors. So what are we starting looking at here? Uh, these particular trays, we have a wide range of everything from uh, amended soils ready to go right out the bag with your perlite, your bone meal, all your type of nutrients you need into them, uh, to just straight amendments, things you would add to soil, uh, forest humuses, uh, uh, and different mixes from different levels of nutritive needs and porosity. If I'm entering a grow store and I want to select right. a, a media, where should I start? Um, boy, I, I really guess that depends on um, what you're expecting out of your garden uh, and, and what kind of attention you like to put into it. Uh, something with a little higher porosity is going to require a little more water, a little more attention to it, especially when things get in, in, in in late stages of bloom yeah. uh, and are sucking up lots of water. Um, some people tend to go on the, uh, prefer more of an organic medium. Uh, some people prefer an inert medium and, and like to provide all their nutrients through either minerals or, or synthetics. So a beginner gardener might select one of these because it'd be easier. You have all everything already built in. Absolutely. If you wanted to get a little bit more creative and build your own media, mm -hmm. how would you start that? Well, we have a lot of people that like to tailor their own medias. Uh, we have stuff right out the bag that's ready to go. Uh, so I, for myself, the first step would be, uh, what do I want as a base, either peat or cocoa? Um, uh, and how much porosity do I want? So how much perlite or other aggregate, such as grow stone or leka stone, am I gonna add to it uh, to give it a higher oxygen to water ratio mix? All right, um, let's take a look at some of the additives. Let's do. So these are some of the additives if you wanted to build your own media. Yes. What do we have right here? Uh, this is a cocoa fiber. Cocoa this is just straight fiber. coconut husk. Um, that's washed to get the uh, salinity and the, sa the salt out of it. Uh, okay. Coconut does come from the beach. Um, it makes a great additive by itself. It's a little dense. Uh, some people do grow straight into it. Uh, most growers prefer to add a little porosity with it, say a perlite or a grow stone. Um, and something to kind of loosen it up and add a little more oxygen. It looks like actually right here we have a pre-blend of a mix. Uh, it's called GS3. It's a cocoa mix made by grow stone. Uh, it is a RHP quality cocoa mixed directly with um, uh, their aggregate. Uh, it, it's a perfect exchange between uh, nutrient and water holding uh, capability and, and oxygen supply. Most of the mixes already made uh, just tend to be the popular recipes people are following. So instead of now having to mix things ourselves and uh, in hoppers or even kiddie pools, uh, uh, we can just dump them right out of the bag ready to go. So these grow stones seem pretty unique. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about grow stone. The grow stone is a hundred percent recycled material. Uh, we'll use glass bottles, clear, brown, green, any color, doesn't matter. Uh, grind them up to a very fine micron. Um, uh, they had a proprietary ingredient as a foaming agent, and when it comes out, it's got a, uh, as you can see, it's very lightweight uh, with a high porosity yeah. to it. So this is an alternative to perlite? Absolutely. One of the main problems with perlite, when I, I worked on a farm where everything we grew was in perlite, right. and we were pouring the bags, and there's this thing called white lung. It's, the dust. It's, the dust that comes off the perlite is really harmful. Yeah, it is. So. That's one of the main advantages, of, or I guess a big advantage of this, right? That's a huge personal advantage to myself. Uh, we promote the grow stone here. Uh, I find it to be a little less toxic to people uh, yeah. than perlite dust. And recycled. Absolutely. So in front of us, we have a couple options of grow stone. Yeah. This is the large size. Yes, sir. And behind you? We have a, have a smaller particulate size right here. There's one more that uh, similar in size to diatomaceous earth. Okay. Um, we'll use for gnat control, uh, but as far as porosity and, and, and aggregate and media go, uh, these are by far the most uh, popular ones we carry. We have all of our additives. This is the this is Nutrimix, your most popular. This is the most popular media, uh, not only in Grow Big Supply, but the seven to thirty ratio of peat to perlite um, industry wide is a very popular one. Uh, Nutrimix is one that's um, uh, centric to us, we're the distributor for it in uh, Colorado, and it's quite a popular mix for us. So it'd be a, a good option for synthetic or organic. Absolutely. Thank you, Sean, Thank for you, Tyler. showing me your guys' medias. If you want to find out more information, please follow the link. You could take a class with Sean at Grow Big Supply or with an expert in your area.